we've never been on a Royal Caribbean ship before. Several people have said, if you're going to do a Royal Caribbean ship, you've got to do an Oasis class. So we're on the original. We're on Oasis of the Seas in Miami. in here we've come into the solarium bistro like a buffet it's more than the wind jammer i think there's a little buffet area and it's really really nice good selection of stuff and we're gonna have something to eat because we are starving hungry that was delicious because she's just gone up to find the cakes i went a bit mad Pretty busy up here now. I think everyone's getting ready for the sail away, which will be soon. But yeah, it's uh, super loud, super busy. Quite good fun. Friggin' mental out there. sail away. We're heading out to open water. We can still see the carnival celebration just out there. So we're following it out into open water but we're going to go and get ready. Go and have a shower, freshen up and have a little wander around and have a look at some areas of the ship we haven't seen yet. So many areas of the ship we haven't seen. That's a nice balcony that. I really like the fact that it's got a proper table that you can actually sit at to eat rather than just a little tiny coffee table. But no, it's a nice cabin. Looks like a nice comfy bed. Nice little sofa with a little coffee table that Kirsty sat at. TV, desk. Oh, I forgot, this is a cabin tour, so you've got to say area after everything. Bed area, desk area. Of course, we've got the uh, US um, plug sockets. Decent amount of hanging space, actually. A little wardrobe there with a sliding door across the front of it. And uh, 
adequate shelving, I guess. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. fine. That slightly different layout to to cabins we're used to, but I think it'll be absolutely perfect. We've got an adjoining door. I've only just noticed that. So we're out for the evening. Not sure what we're gonna get up to yet. We're in Central Park. We're gonna have a little wander through Central Park and then perhaps go down to the boardwalk. We wanna go and get a drink somewhere, what do you reckon? Yeah, I think that might be next on the cars. <laughs> We're on the rising tide bar. We got on on the boardwalk and it goes up to Central Park. This might be the cocktail of the cruise. So we're coming to the Windjammer for food. Oh my God, the selection. I was going around choosing bits and pieces. I've got all sorts, ribs, chicken, fried chicken, um, chicken wings, mashed potato, mac and cheese, black and fish. And I, I filled up the plate. And as I was walking around, I was thinking, but I want that, and I want that, and I want that. I've got a corn dog as well. Meat on a stick. These ribs are the best thing ever, especially with a bit of barbecue sauce over the top. They're really, really good. I'm absolutely done. I ordered a beer, I don't know why, because I'm going to struggle drinking this after all that food. I'm not even sure if I can have the dessert which I just across there I'm just not sure I can handle it that was a bit noisy in there actually there's uh, that's where the water show is all the way aft there it's where the pool is isn't it where they do the water show and yeah, I think yeah. that's, that's where all the loud music was coming from it was super noisy in there Sing with me. Oh, hey. I only want to see you bathing in the purple rain. Baby, I know, I know, times are changing. So that was a nice night. Not a bad embarkation day. They're always a little bit full on embarkation day. It was uh, a horrendous transfer between the hotel and the cruise terminal because it was uh, uh, the Miami Marathon today and the traffic was absolutely horrendous. But no other than that, it was pretty seamless and we had a really good day. Uh, tomorrow we're in Coco Key. Um, really looking forward to that. So join us tomorrow and we'll see you on the beach in the sunshine. See you then. <laughs>